Hi, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a shop with me online edition. Basically what that means is I'm going to go through my Sephora wish list and decide what to put in my cart for the current Sephora sale. So if you're curious about what's on my radar, or if you just want to live vicariously through my Sephora shopping addiction, go ahead and settle in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Holly. I'm a lifestyle blogger, but here on YouTube, I stick to beauty, fashion, and self-care. If those things are interesting to you, consider subscribing because I'd love to have you in the family. But right now, I'm just going to jump right into the video. First, I do want to talk about this sale. I know it's a little bit contentious. People are upset at Sephora for having a 20% off sale after everyone is broke. Um, I do want to offer some speculation as to why I think they're having this sale. The first is because I think they're trying to capitalize on FOMO. Um, we had the original sale. People probably took things off of their list that they really wanted to get, or maybe they weren't sure they wanted to purchase something. And so Sephora is hoping like your friends and your influencers and YouTubers were talking about products that you chose not to buy and that you've decided you want to get. Um, the second speculation is that they probably just didn't sell enough. And so they're trying to have like one last ditch effort to try to make up revenue. Um, I know for me personally, I didn't buy a lot during the original Sephora sale because I had spent most of my beauty budget at like Credo and Derm Store and M Cosmetics. So I didn't have a lot of money for the Sephora sale. Um, and I only bought a couple of things. And now that I've had time to play with those purchases, I've realized there's some things that I wish I would have picked up. Um, as a content creator, um, being able to save money on beauty purchases is important um, because I'm a small creator and I don't get like PR or anything like that. So a lot of the times I have to purchase the products that I'm going to review. And if I can get more products for less money, that allows me to create more content. So that is why I am shopping this particular sale. I have my loves list pulled up on my computer and I'm going to talk through some of the purchases that I'm thinking about making. Um, maybe to decide between a few things because I have some things that are a little bit similar and I can't buy everything because my budget won't allow it. The first thing I'm trying to decide about purchasing isn't about a specific product but rather a color and I know that might sound confusing uh, but let me explain. Uh, Dior has really great lip products. If you haven't tried a Dior lip product you need to, you're totally missing out on life if you haven't. Um, but he has this shade called Mahogany, which is described as a sheer deep nude. And I'm intrigued. The pictures look really pretty. However, this is a huge departure from the run-of-the-mill rose and mauve tones that I typically gravitate toward. The shade Mahogany is available in a couple of different uh, formulas. It's available in the Lip Glow Oil, the Dior Addict Lip Glow, and then also a link the Plumping Gloss. Um, and so I really wanted to pick it up in the lip oil, but it's currently sold out. Um, and then I heard State of Kate was talking about probably purchasing it in the Lip Glow formula. And so I'm trying to decide, like, First of all, is the lip oil like not coming back because it's sold out in every single color? Um, I know that I don't want the plumping gloss because I don't like plumping glosses that are tingly. Um, and then part of me is like, do I wait to see what State of Kate thinks of the mahogany color? Um, we are very different looking, obviously, like she's blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, very pretty. Um, young lady and then I have dark hair, brown eyes, pale skin. So I'm not necessarily sure a color that's going to look good on her is going to look good on me. So I'm like, do I wait for her to review the product or not? So a whole lot of that is being said to say that I have no clue if I'm going to add a Dior lip product in mahogany to my basket still. <laughs> When it comes to my Sephora wish list, I have a lot of high-end luxury makeup products on it um, because they're expensive. I want to try them, um, but I can't always bring myself to actually put them in my shopping cart and check out because they're expensive, even with 20% off. Um, 
as an example of an expensive product that I really want is the Tom Ford eye color quad eyeshadow palette it retails for $89 so even with 20% off it is very expensive um I particularly want the shade honeymoon but I also saw the shade nude dip and they're both like really pretty I recently just watched Kathy's video where she talks about Tom Ford and um, if it's worth it or not, you should totally check that out if you're kind of like debating high-end luxury makeup purchases. Um, she's a lot better at eyeshadow than me, and she makes the Tom Ford palette look really great. Um, I enjoy these types of palettes because there's only four colors. You can't mess it up. It's You're not going to work your way into something that you can't fix. And <laughs> that's the kind of eyeshadow that I need. Simple. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to buy it. You know, it's a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette. And honestly, I would prefer to like go to my esthetician's office and $89 can go toward like a chemical peel or a laser treatment. So as much as I want the Tom Ford quad, I'm not going to put it in my basket. We're going to stay in the luxury beauty realm. So I love a glossy, easy to apply lip product. I also love Hannah Louise Poston. She is such a great YouTuber. Um, she's got a really cool vibe and she has like this um, smart way of shopping for beauty products, like really wanting to make smart purchases for things that she will really enjoy. Um, anyway, <laughs> she's been talking about the Gucci lipsticks and Gucci lipsticks like never in a million years would I think that I would be consider buying a Gucci lipstick right um but I want one I actually want them all I can't even decide which one that I want um I have one I have three on my list right now I have the Rouge Brilliant Glow and Care Shine Lipstick in the shade My Cousin Rachel, which is a mauve rosewood, which is my jam. That's the kind of color I go for 99% of the time. Um, then in the Gucci Lip Balm, I also have Esther Rosewood. And then in the Rouge Wall Sheer Lipstick, I have Love Is Better. And it doesn't describe the color tones um, of the Love Is Better shade. And they are all currently $42. Obviously, I'm not going to buy three of the same color lipsticks um, in three different finishes from Gucci um, for $42. I want to buy one. This is another reason why I couldn't decide about the mahogany lip product from Dior because I'm a little bit more curious about the Gucci than the Dior because everyone knows the Dior Lip Glow is a great formula. Um, I'm not going to be adding to my product knowledge by purchasing the Lip Glow from Dior, um, but it's also a safer bet. Um, but I really want the Gucci. So I'm actually going to put the wall sheer lipstick in love is better in my basket all the other makeup that i'm interested in is currently sold out so i'm really wanting to try the shiseido um concealer however it is not available so i cannot purchase that and then the other makeup item i was interested in trying is the tom ford um cream and powder eyeshadow duo however the shade that i want is also sold out. I was wanting to do a comparison between the Tom Ford and the Auric. Um, however, I'm not going to be able to do that now. Okay, now we're going to talk about skincare. I love skincare. I would prefer to only purchase skincare, only talk about skincare, um, because I would rather have skin that is glowing and has a great texture and looks amazing without makeup. Um, I know a ton about skincare because I've just been really into it. I've been researching it. Honestly, sometimes I think I should have been like an esthetician or a dermatologist, but you know, here I am a content creator. That is neither here nor there. Um, 
as far as skincare, there's some products that I'm wanting to re-up on, like I'm wanting to purchase again, and then there's a couple of products that I want to try. Um, I have a hard time repurchasing products because a lot of times I'm like trying to churn through trying new products to decide whether or not they're um, worth using, you know, so that I can review things. And if I keep buying the same things, I can't review new products. Um, however, I really wanted to repurchase the Peter Thomas Roth Exfoliating Peel Gel. I really love this. Um, I was first introduced to these types of peel gels through using the Bosha Peel. Um, however, they reformulate it and I just don't like it as much. I do have a full size of it um, that I really should work through, um, but the Peter Thomas Roth version just works better. Um, so I would like to get the Peter Thomas Roth one, but if I was being good, I would just use the one that I currently have, even though it's not as effective. So I think I just talked myself out of putting that in my basket. Another product that I'm considering putting in my cart is a product that used to be a holy grail for me. It is the uh, Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiance Dark Spot Serum. I used to use this for years and years. It's a great product. Um, I just kind of got away from it because I was trying so many different things, but I think I want to bring it back into my life. Part of the reason why I want to start purchasing the Vino Perfect Serum is because I am really wanting to tackle issues with my texture and skin brightness, but I also use retinol and I don't want to use too many really harsh ingredients. Um, but the ingredient in this um, serum is shown to be 62 times more effective than vitamin C at brightening. Um, and I also know that my skin tolerates it very well, which sometimes topical vitamin Cs um, don't work well with my skin. The full size one ounce bottle of this serum is $79. So being able to get it for 20% off would be nice. Another product that I'm considering purchasing is from the same brand. I feel like I may have tried this a long time ago, but I don't remember my thoughts. And of course my preferences have changed, but it is the Beauty Elixir Face Mist. Um, this is another um, product that khaki raves about and i'm like oh do i want to try it she has dry skin i don't have dry skin um but i have dehydrated skin so i'm like do i want to try this a mini size is only 15 dollars, but yet 15 dollars on a product that you don't like is 15 dollars wasted so i'm like do i get it do i not get it i don't know and part of why I haven't decided if I want the Beauty Elixir is because I'm interested in trying this new product from Dr. Jart. It is the Sikapair Tiger Grass Calming Mist. Um, as you may notice, I have very red skin, gets very angry. Um, Becca Sun, who is a new newish creator here on YouTube, has talked about this calming mist. And so I'm interested in trying it. Um, obviously, I don't wanna buy both the Dr. Jart Calming Mist and the Beauty Elixir. Um, so I have to choose between one or the other. My issue is that I don't know how they feel on the skin because I don't want anything that's gonna leave my face feeling greasy or sticky. Um, and I'm nervous that both of these mists could do that. I'm gonna go with my gut and I'm gonna make a decision and I'm gonna put the Dr. Jart Calming Mist in my basket. I think um, it would be more interesting for a review, I think more people will be curious about it versus the um, elixir from Caudalie. We did it. We went through my loves list and looked at the things that I was considering purchasing. And we really narrowed it down. I think we talked about like six or seven different products and ended up only putting two products in my basket. Um, that is actually very good and that's actually very realistic. I know a lot of times people think content creators just go to Sephora and go nuts. Um, however, we have budgets, um, especially me. I know I have a very small budget when it comes to beauty purchases. And I'm very excited to hit purchase and check out and then review these products. Um, so thank you so much for shopping with me. I'd love to hear what you're interested in seeing me review. I also would love to hear what you're thinking about purchasing from this sale. And until next time.